Hey guys, it's Marissa. So in today's video, we're going to be doing an Ulta Beauty haul. And I haven't done this in a while, so this is going to be like the May 2020 version of my Ulta Beauty haul since I want to do some more in the future. So what we're doing today is I'm reviewing each item that I bought. And the first thing that I bought was the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palette, which was the sorta of sweet palette. And these are like really pretty nude neutrals. And then the next palette that I bought was the Zulu by Juvia's Place. And I've never had anything by Juvia's Place before, so I really wanted to try one of their products out. Then I got the Real Techniques brush cleansing palette, so this really helps exfoliate all of the brushes. And then I also got the brush cleansing gel. I've never actually cleaned any of my brushes before just because they're usually really cheap e.l.f. brushes. And by the time I'm done using them for a couple months, then they start to like, you know, fray out a little bit. So I usually just buy completely new brushes. But now I'm going to start saving my brushes as much as possible and cleaning them, especially now that I have a lot more Morphe brushes. And I'll do a separate video on cleaning my entire makeup collection, including brushes and palettes, because it's been long overdue and I really need to just wipe everything down. And then lastly, I did get an Ulta Beauty Lash Separator, and I'm just going to be trying it out today just to see how well it does get rid of any kind of extra mascara clumps. I also did get the Ordinary Peeling Solution as well, and I'm going to try out to see how well this works and if the hype is really worth it because a lot of people have been doing reviews on this and they said it works really well for them and it helps clear and brighten their skin. It's also supposed to exfoliate your skin, so I just want to see if it really hydrates my skin afterwards as well. And if you want to see my reviews on all of these products that I bought for today's video and how I did this makeup look, then just keep on watching. first palette that I bought is the Juvia's Place palette and this is the Zulu by Juvia's. Now if you see in the palette their eyeshadows are really big and most of their palettes have really big eyeshadow shades especially compared to my hand you can see that these are way bigger than quarter sized shades which I think is really good because it will definitely last you a long time and I've seen a lot of reviews on their kind of palettes and I just really wanted to get some sort of palette by this company just to review and see how it works. And I don't have a lot of like orange or teal shades, so I thought that this palette would be really good as well because it also was on sale for half off. So I really wanted to dip into one of these palettes just to see how good it would be. So here is me swatching the shades and I'm just swatching everything twice just so you can really just see how you can actually layer on the pigments of the eyeshadows. And I'm just swatching everything horizontally by each pan. While I'm looking at the actual makeup palette itself, if I look towards the back, it just says press pigments 1 through 9. So they really don't have an official name. They're just numbered by which one is in the pan. And out of all of them, I really just love those shimmery shades. And I just really like how pigmented those are the most. palette that I bought was the Kylie Jenner palette. Normally these palettes are a little bit expensive. They're $42 but I got this half off as well for $24. And the palette that I got was the Sorta of Sweet palette and it's because I always wanted to get like a nudes palette for myself. The only ones that I do have are like the chocolate bar palettes by Too Faced so I just wanted to get something a little bit different especially since I never had a Kylie Jenner palette before. So this is definitely something really good if I don't want to go all out one day and just want to go put something on quickly for school or work. Now the Kylie Jenner palette is really super pretty as well. I'm just going to be swatching everything horizontally like how I did before. And the shades that I'm swatching is Buttermilk, Glazed, and Rose. This is the Sort of Sweet palette and I just think that this is also a really nice palette as well for traveling just because of how small and convenient the size is. The second row is Berry Bite, Sweet, Cookie Dough, and that's pretty much it until we get on to the third row, which is Raspberry Sugar, Cocoa, and Spice Plum. There's only three shimmery shades, and the rest is pretty much matte. These palettes are both very super pretty, but also very different. One of them is obviously super neutral, and the other one is bright and colorful, but either way, I'm going to be using this a lot more often in the next coming videos. I've seen this in a lot of videos and a lot of people have reviewed this saying that this works really good and it just helps clear up their skin. So I'm going to try this on today as well before we put on any of the makeup. And before I put this on, I did hear that it does like sting a little bit when you first put it on. I don't know why. My face is already clean. I already washed it earlier. But I'm going to try some of this and see what they mean. 
and like it smells really weird it smells like tartar sauce i don't know why but when i opened this earlier and i smelled it it literally smells like that but it's all like the color is red and it, i guess it like you can put it on for like 10 minutes i want to say and then it just peels off really easily I already got some on my pants. So far my skin is not tingling, so it's just like lightly tingling, but it's not bad. like those weird blood facials that I've seen in like other videos if you know what I'm talking about this looks really weird I don't know if I'm putting too much of it on or if I'm putting too little so I'm just trying to make it all evenly like pigmented just like the same amount all over my face the more I'm like smelling this it doesn't really smell like that really I don't want to say sour but now it smells like you know a heating pad and like it's like that lavender kind of scent now it smells like that once I have it on my face, which I think is really weird. But it's definitely a lot better than when I first smelled it. Now I'm just going to let this set on my face. Again, I don't know if I'm putting too little on, but I'm not going to really overdo it because I do have sensitive skin. So I'm just going to let this set for a little bit and then I'll come right back after it's completely dry. So for some reason it's been 10 minutes, but I'm not able to peel it off. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's just because like I didn't put on like enough of the mask so I'm just gonna go rinse it off because it says you can go rinse it off anyways and I'm just gonna be right back afterwards okay so I just rinsed it off and it is still a little bit tingly but it's not bad and my face is a little bit red in some spots but I think that's normal I do have sensitive skin on top of it but um, I think I just applied too much because whenever I felt my face it was still kind of wet and so yeah I just applied too much I think that was just my own fault but if you've had the same problem with that same peeling solution, let me know below. I'm going to be putting on some lipstick just because of how badly chapped my lips are right now. And the lipstick that I was using was the Revlon Kiss Lip Balm in the scent Fresh Strawberry. I'm just going to be putting this on my eyelid and then afterwards blending everything out with my finger. This next product that I'm using is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 08. And I'm just going to be blending that on my eyelid using my finger. I don't know why, but whenever I just put on lipstick and nothing else, I feel like it makes my lips look really plump. And it just makes the rest of my face look really weird compared to it. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that's how I feel about it. I'm going to be doing like a warmish kind of look for today as well. So I'm going to be starting in with this orange shade and then blending it out with this yellow color. I'm just going to be going in with the orange one at first above my crease and then blending it out with the yellow one. Whenever I apply the orange shade to the crease of my eye, I'm going to be applying that with the Morphe M321 brush. And then to blend everything out using that yellow shade, I'm just going to be buffing it out using the Morphe M330 brush afterwards. Then I'm going to go back in with the orange shade a couple more times just to make sure that everything is evenly blended. And then afterwards to deepen and darken my crease, I'm going to be using that top right shade which is that brownish color and also the hot pink shade and just mixing those two together just to really deepen and darken that area. And then I'm just going to buff everything out again one more time. For the center of my eyelid, I'm going to be using this really pretty rose gold shade which is in the bottom left corner of the palette and in some angles you can kind of just see where it's really pink and then other angles it's super rose gold. And then I'm darkening the outer corners of my eye using that same brownish shade. These colors are coming off a little bit lighter than I thought, but they definitely are buildable and I really like that. They are very powdery though, but pigmented, so if you do use this I would recommend like tapping with the brush onto something else just so you can get that extra pigment off because you don't want the shadow to be super powdery and having a lot of fallout so that's what i'm doing once in a while and yeah so far i don't have any complaints with this palette i think it's really pretty and super easy to blend 
Next, we're going to be using the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palette as well, and I'm going to be taking the shade Spice Plum. It's this really pretty, almost black shade. It's like a really dark brown, and I'm going to be applying this using an e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm just going to be creating like a smoked out eyeliner wing with it and blending it out as much as possible. <music> transition shade on my eyelid I'm also going to be taking the shade raspberry sugar and just lightly applying that to the middle of my eyelid now I'm going to be cleaning up the edges of my wings using the Clinique makeup remover wipes this way I can just really sharpen the outer edges of the eye and just clean up any kind of fallout that there is The eyelashes that I applied was the Sonia Kashuk fringe lashes and then I just applied that using the duo lash glue. And then for mascara, I'm using the Rimmel London Scandalize Wow Wings in the shade Extreme Black. Next, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to be applying this to any redness areas that I have on my face. This is also in the shade Fair Neutral. And the reason why I'm not gonna be applying any kind of primer is just because of that face mask that I had before. And I'm just relying on that because it did exfoliate my face a lot. And it does feel a lot more smoother and more hydrated now. <laughs> Blending everything in using the Real Techniques Beauty Complexion Sponge. And then I'm going over one more time with another layer, especially under my eyes, just to really add more coverage. Then I'm setting my entire face using the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral. Next, after setting my face, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. I'm going to be taking that Kylie Jenner palette again in the shades Cocoa and Spice Plum, and I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows using the e.l.f. Angled Brush. <laughs> setting powder on my face and I'm gonna try contouring and bronzing my face using that shade cocoa and I'm just applying the bronzer and blush both with the Ulta Beauty blush brush Before I set my face with setting spray, because I know this looks really bad, I'm going to be setting my face with setting spray after applying some blush. And I'm just going to be blending all of this into my skin just so everything is evenly blended. And so then afterwards it doesn't look too harsh, obviously. But for blush, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place palette. This is actually like a really pretty like pink shade. So I do really like this as a blush as well besides an eyeshadow. And the pink shade that I'm using is that really pretty hot pink shade at the bottom row of the Juvia's Place palette. <music> Now 
Now I'm setting my face using the Morphe setting mist and just spraying it everywhere and then just blending everything into my skin again and just making sure that nothing looks streaky. I'm also going back with the Ulta Beauty blush brush as well just to make sure that everything is evenly blended as I said before. <laughs> baking certain parts of my face using that same airspun loose face powder applying the pink shade and also the yellow shade from that Juvia's Place palette using an e.l.f. concealer brush and just applying it to my lower lash line. Before I add on my highlight, I'm going to be setting my face one more time and then adding the shade Glazed from the Kylie Jenner palette and I'm just applying this to the highest points of my face including my inner corner and brow bone highlight using an e.l.f. blending brush. <music> Then to finish off my eyes, I'm just going to be applying that same mascara to my lower lash line. So the last thing that I didn't use that I bought from Ulta is the lash separator. So I purposely made my lower lashes clumpy just to see how good this would work. And as I did this, I definitely do recommend using one of these things, but I would probably recommend just using it only for your top lashes. It doesn't work as well for your lower lashes. It might need to use like skinnier bristles just to get rid of all of those clumps, but it still got rid of a lot. And you can definitely see that there is some of the extra product on here. So I do recommend cleaning it afterwards so it doesn't get stuck on here. And then I'm just going back in with the Morphe M321 brush and just that yellow shade again just to get rid of any of that smudging from the mascara that I might have had. To finish off the look, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Champagne Glam. And then that is the completed look. <music> So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, this is the Ulta Beauty Haul. And if you are interested in some of the products that I use from today's video, then I will link everything in the description below so you can check it out. And I'll just see you guys in next time's video. Bye.